taking a look at one of the more commonly asked questions I get, and that is how to key your tracks. So the key shows up in Scratch Live in the key column. Now, unfortunately, Scratch Live does not have any type of built-in key detection when you analyze your files. So what that means is you're going to have to resort to using external third-party key tagging programs. Now, probably the most popular one amongst DJs is Mixed in Key, which you can find here at mixedinkey.com. It's got a nice, simple, clean, easy-to-use interface, but unfortunately, Mixed in Key costs money. It costs $58, excuse me. So, a lot of people don't want to fork over that just to find the key of their tracks. Fortunately, there are other alternatives, and most of which are free. Another program you can use to find the key of your tracks is Rapid Evolution. Uh, however, Rapid Evolution is kind of tedious and confusing to use, plus it's more of a music management database uh, program. Uh, another one is B-Tunes, which is kind of like an iTunes alternative that can find the key of your tracks. Uh, but the one we're going to be looking at and using today is a program called Key Finder. This is a free open source program uh, developed by a user, and he posts it on the Serato forums and Tractor forums, uh, DJ Tech Tools, and DJ forums. So he's posted it out there. Uh, so we're going to be using this program to find the key of our tracks. Uh, again, I mentioned this is free, so just head over to this website, which I'll post the link at the bottom uh, in the video description. Uh, it's available for both Macs and PCs, and he does update it quite regularly, so make sure you check back every you know couple weeks or months or so uh, just to stay up with the current version. So download it, and it just uh, comes in a zip folder, so just abstract it, and you'll see the program right here. So let's open it up. Now what's great about this program is it automatically imports your... Uh, Serato crates from either Scratch Live, Serato DJ, or Itch. Uh, it also imports your iTunes library if you use iTunes, and it can also import Tractor's playlist as well. Uh, so, no matter which of the major programs you're using, uh, more than likely half the work is already going to be done for you uh, from importing uh, your songs, crates, and music and whatnot. However, you can also still manually import uh, songs and folders if you so wish, but uh, most of your, all your crates should automatically show up in the program, which is good. But before we begin, let's go into the preferences because we need to set up some things first. Now probably the majority of people are, want to use the Camelot key code uh, system that Mixed and Key uses. That is, uh, you know, the tracks show up as like 1A, 2A, 3A, 8A, 7B, etc. like that. By default, uh, this program does not do the key code, uh, the Camelot key code system. Uh, defaults to just you know classical music note notation. So you might see something like this uh, right here, uh, big B, little B, M. That stands for uh, B flat minor. Uh, but you can input your own custom codes. Uh, you can put whatever you want really. But I think the majority of people want to stick with the mixed and key in the Camelot key code system. Uh, so this is if you want to use that, uh, I'll leave this pause for a second so you can uh, copy this down uh, and into your program. Alright, so now that you've written all the Camelot key codes into all these boxes right here, uh, let's just take a quick look at some of the options at the top. Paralyzed batch jobs, faster but higher CPU load. Uh, that basically does multi-tracks at one time. Uh, skip files that already have key metadata. Uh, if you already keyed your tracks, you know, I don't know why you'd be using the program in the first place, but if you do, you have this option to skip those ones, say you've used a different program before. Uh, write to tags, file names automatically during batch jobs. You'll probably want this check. Uh, it just automatically writes the key to the file instead of you know, having to manually go back after it analyzes the key because normally it just analyzes the key and it'll just give you the result but it doesn't write to the file until you right click it and, and select write to file. So uh, just check this option that'll just save you an extra step or two down the road. Uh, then this is the default locations for all the various uh, databases, your iTunes XML file, your Tractor if you use Tractor where your NML file is and your Serato uh, folder database v2 file location right here. Uh, all these should automatically be there by default already set ready for you to go so nothing probably to worry about there. But the main things we need to, important things we need to do is over here tagging. Uh, what to write. Now keys, if you have keys selected it's going to write in the classical key mu uh, music note notation so like the BBM. Uh, so we want to change this to custom codes. And what this is, it's going to use these custom codes that we inputted over here and uh, if you're following this, you'll have the Camelot key code notation right here for all this. Next thing is where to write uh, the key info to. Uh, you have a lot of different choices that you can select where to write the key uh, information to. You can write it to the title, the artist, album, comment, grouping, or the key tag. Uh, you know, I suppose the majority of people don't want to mess with any of their other tags, so I'm just going to select uh, the key tag, and we're going to select overwrite. 
You could also use the grouping tag. Uh, that's another popular one a lot of people like to use. And then you also have the choices to, uh, you know, where you want it. If you want to prepend it, add it to the beginning, uh, append, add it to the end, or overwrite whatever is there. But um, I want to keep all my tags as they are, so I'm just going to select the key tag and select that to overwrite. And uh, that's pretty much it. So we'll just save this now. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So just go through your crates. Uh, and then all you have to do is hit the Run Batch Analysis button right here. And it'll go through and start detecting the keys of your song. Uh, the program is uh, pretty fast in detecting uh, keys. Uh, assuming having uh, a good, uh, you know, uh, modern computer. Uh, usually whips through it pretty fast. Uh, but we'll just let this sit for a minute. i got to do about 56 songs, so it'll take about a minute or two. So we'll just... Uh, do a little fancy editing and get to the end of it. All right, now that it's done analyzing all the files and it's written the key of the tracks to the files, so let's open up Scratch Live. Now I'll go into your crates, and if you haven't already, make sure you add the key column. That's just to click over here and then just select key. Now, probably if you've already imported your tracks into Scratch Live, um, the key column will still look blank. So what you're going to need to do is click on the Files panel and then click on the Rescan ID3 Tags button. And there you go. Then the keys will populate for all your tracks. And you'll have the key of your tracks now. So there you go. So we're going to use this key program to find the key of our tracks and write it to the uh, file so it shows up in the key column here in Scratch Live. So now you can get started mixing harmonically and mixing in key uh, and whatnot. I'm not going to go too into detail about mixing a key and harmonic mixing. That's a little beyond the scope of this video. Uh, there's plenty of tutorials and guides out there on harmonic mixing, but let's just uh, give you a basic quick rundown how it works. Basically, if you search for this image, this is the, you know, the camel nut circle of this wheel. And basically, you have any key, say you have a 3A key, for example. Basically, you can move anywhere up or down on the clock or in or out. So if I have a track with a key of 3A, you can mix in a key that has a track of 2A, a track of 4A or a track of 3B. So you can go in or out uh, on any slot or up and down one. And there's, you know, energy boosting, which is, you know, go plus two. Uh, there's a lot of different various tricks and techniques with harmonic mixing, but like I said, I'm not going to get too much into that, but this is the basic uh, gist of it using the uh, mixing key uh, harmonic mixing wheel right here, the circle of fifths. So uh, there you go. That is how you key your tracks with the key finder program to be able to write it to the key column in Scratch Live.